Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look at this, we're gonna do a four case break of 2022-23 Bowman University Best Basketball. I got all four cases right here. Um, it's break number two and it's random letter break. It's the first letter of their first name. Very easy, first letter, first name. It's a uh, 16 spot break, so obviously if you get V, Victor Wembanyama, C, Caitlin Clark, so on and so forth. What's great about this, and there's a all other letters spot right there. What's great about this is that for a majority of these cards, especially on the men's side, a lot of these guys are already drafted, which is awesome. So now you, you know what teams are gonna be on. So there are the letters right there. Big thanks to this group here. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. I appreciate that. And thanks to the people who took the chance on those, uh, those giveaway breaks. So congrats to these four right here who won that spot in that Revolution basketball box break. All right, there are the letters, there are the names. Let's go, let's roll it, let's randomize names and letters. Snake eyes, two times, easy. One and two. And there'll be a very short, brief trade window as well. Nathan down to Justin, after two. Let's put it into the spreadsheet there, there we go. And then, Snake eyes, two times for the letters. One and two. Easy. We got K down to L N. All right, so here's how it shakes out Nathan with K, Adam with C, Daniel with D, Brian with M, Nathan with J, Ryan with A, Rob, last spot mojo, V. You also have S and H. Adam with the E, G combo. Landon with W, Z and all other letters. Rob with B, Justin with T, Vipple P, F. Nathan with R and Justin with L, N. So let's sort by uh, column B right here by letter. And we're gonna pause the video just for a little bit, like I said, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have that four case break. Stick around, we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so the list you saw on the previous screen remains the same here on a Sunday, July the 2nd, 2023. Thanks everybody for making this happen. And thanks to the thanks for spending a bit of your holiday weekend with us. We appreciate that too. All right, Bowman's Best You. Did I take all this out of inventory? I don't know if I did. Could have done that during the trade window, but I forgot. Hang on just a second. And I think this is this is not in our system because I think these are the final four cases. Yeah, I don't have to take anything out. All right. So this is my first look at it. I think Jason did the other quadruple case break a few days ago. We're looking at two autographs per box on average, plus plus a ton of parallels. They're in, still in their collegiate gear, but most of these, uh, most of the gentlemen, anyway, should be, hopefully, will be drafted. I'm sure there's some undrafted players here, but hopefully most, if not all, will be drafted players. That it's good for the hobby. All right, good luck. Um, if you're watching live right now, remember this is a pretty long break, so I would check in with Ted on Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks on IG at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. So be sure to check in with him. He can do personal boxes for you. Andrew, what's up? Do you think you'll break the 190 box hit parade break? No, I mean, maybe. But I know there's two full spots left, but there's also a number of uh, giveaway breaks we gotta do. So we've pulled out a bunch of spots already to give away in different breaks. 
So you can see that right next to the 190 boxer, there'll be a, a multiple breaks that'll say 190 box giveaway, spot giveaway or something like that. Or there's a random number block for that 100 box. So there, we still have a ways to go on that. All right, so do all cards ship in this? I'm assuming all cards ship in this. All cards ship, yes. There's the speckle parallel, which is not numbered. And here's our first autograph, Dewan Harris Jr. Was he drafted? It's a good way for me to learn these players as well. I don't think he was, but that'll go to letter D for Daniel. D to Daniel, not D for Daniel, D for Dewan. Judah Mintz, and there's Jared McCain to 250. And that'll be for the letter J. Here's our first Caitlin Clark. Let's see if we can find some parallels of her. Letter C, Adam. Maybe some ink. As you as you notice, we have some uh, some players on the women's side here as well. Hopefully, they'll be future WNBA draft. I mean, Kaylin Clark obviously will be. Was Jordan Walsh draft? Yes, he was. Thirty eighth overall. Uh, Picked by the Kings from from Indiana, from a pick from Indiana, traded to Boston. So that's 31 out of 99. Jordan Walsh. We've got a die cut, and that's Anthony Black. We've got a Caitlin Clark parallel, Aqua Lava, 104 out of 199. Adam with the letter C. Check those die cuts there. All right, good start, box one. Next box. Now, in addition to the recent draft, there was uh, tons of free agents action happening in, in basketball. What did everyone think about all, all these deals? I'm happy with the moves my Lakers made. Re-signing uh, the group that went 18 and six down the stretch and got to the Western Conference Finals. Stumbled a little bit there, but that was a good achievement. So they brought those guys back and added some more guys, which I thought was great. I think uh, Gabe Vincent providing some outside shooting. We got a, a little project. In, uh, in Jackson Hayes, which I think was nice. You know, they got some, their draft picks hopefully can contribute. So I feel like an all, all in all, a deeper team, not as top heavy as some previous years and younger. So I think that's a good combination. So hopefully everyone stays healthy, knock on wood. They've got one more roster spot that they're looking to fill, hopefully with, with another big man. All right. There's a Hardwood Warriors, Caitlin Clark insert. These speckles are not numbered. And there's our autograph, Malik Renault. Was Malik Renault drafted? I don't think so. That'll go to letter M, Brian. Sometimes if I don't see him on the draft list, I think there are a number of players who are going back to school for, um, for another year, and they could be top draft picks for next year. I know that's the case with uh, 
think Mattis Bazelis or something like that, who were finding in these university sets. Here's Cam Whitmore. He was he was drafted 36 out of 50. It's going to go to Adam in the letter C. I think he fell in the draft a little bit, but could be could be a good good chip on the shoulder for him. And there's Kendrick Davis. But yeah, that Mattis Bazelis, having trouble pronouncing his name, but, but I think he's supposed to be like one of the top picks next year. So we're seeing some of those players in here as well. There's Kendrick Davis, letter K, Nathan. So I think whatever card you get, or whatever hit you get, probably worth doing a quick little bit of research, seeing where they're at, because it might be just someone that you want to hang on to, you know, until next year's draft. There's Brandon Slater gold to 50 for Rob in the letter B. And another box. What were some of everyone's if everyone what were some of everyone's favorite basketball moves? Whether it was a free agency, free agent deal, a trade, I don't know if there's too many trades, but what was everyone's favorite moves. some moves out there as well. I mean, I think obviously the big news over the last day or two is D Damian Lillard officially requesting the trade, specifying he wants to go to the Heat, which I suppose kind of affects the Trailblazers' leverage, right? It's good for Miami. Unless a team swoops in and blows Portland's, or blows a Miami's deal out of the water. So I think that's going to be an interesting storyline to watch. Hornets locked up LaMelo Ball. Sabonis, DeMontis Sabonis and the Kings agreed to a five-year, $217 million extension. Worth mention, I've, met, I've said this before, but it's worth mentioning again. I think that's one of the few times, because usually when you make a big trade, there's always supposed to be a, a, there's always a clear winner and a clear loser in a trade by the time all said and done. But I feel like that Kings Pacers trade, here's Donovan Klingon. 53 out of 150 for Daniel and Dee. It's one, one of the few trades I remember, at least in recent memory. Um, here's the uh, Bazellus kid I was talking about. A lot of early mock drafts have him close to the top. And there's Adam Flagler to 99. But yeah, I think it worked out for both teams. Right? You know, I think the Pacers themselves re-signed... Halliburton for to a long-term deal, so, and obviously the Kings just re-signed Sabonis to a long-term deal. So I think they're uh, I think it worked out. It's Caitlin Clark, die cut for Adam K and the letter C. Next autograph is Demar Langford, letter D. Daniel. Once again, all card ship. Oh, there's a Victor Wenbanyama. First of many, I hope. I don't know. Is he is he more common in best? I know in Chrome he was a short print, but looks like looks like Wenbanyama is is not a short print. So hopefully we'll be seeing some more of him, especially parallels. That's really where the separation begins in terms of price point resale market stuff. Uh, Victor Wimbanyama, 
Is he going to be doing summer? I know he's doing summer league, but will he be doing summer league in Vegas? According to some dude on Twitter, I don't know how reliable Tom Orsborne is. Maybe he's a beat writer, something like that. Anyway, it says Victor Weminyama on how much he expects to play in Vegas. Looks like he'll be playing in Vegas. Probably at least one or two games. I don't know how many minutes I'm going to play. I'm not going to have a big role. I can't wait to wear the Spurs jersey for a first. I actually have never been to Summer League. And and even before the summer league dates or schedule was announced, I had some family coming into uh, coming to Las Vegas, and I had planned a little trip to Vegas around there. And it turns out I might be able to squeeze in some summer league action, maybe see some Victor Wembanyama among others, and uh, I'll report back. Please stay healthy, Victor Wembanyama. All right, another box. Remember, the speckles are not numbered, but all card ship. And there's Brandon Miller. Definitely drafted. That goes to Rob in the letter B. Looks like uh, Brandon Miller and uh, Scoot Henderson, right, will be, I guess, in terms of storylines, will be, will be tied together for the better part of their careers. Right? Bruce Thornton, another B. For Rob, you know, who should have drafted who first? There's a uh, Kajani Wright to 150. It's another Wembenyama. Rob also has a letter V. And there's Jaden Shoot. For Nathan and the letter J, gold autograph. Sixteen out of fifty on that one. Got a JJ Starling die cut as well. All right, halfway through our first of four cases. Rex, what's going on? How are you? Andrew, does that mean that it can break tonight? I mean, it could, but realistically, we're a little we're a little far away from filling up all the spots. So there are two spots. Let me just re-explain these fillers to you. There are two spots that we can sell outright, but we took out probably 10 spots and we're reserving them to give away in what we call filler breaks. You can see that mosaic choice baseball box on the site where we're giving away one full spot in that break. So you can try to win one for a fraction of the price. So that's what we call fillers to help fill a break. So we got to do a number of those. Now, is it possible that those two full spots plus, you know, a bunch of those fillers, is it possible for those to sell out and in time for us to do tonight? Yeah, it's possible. Uh, not probably not probable. We would have pre, but the more people buy full spots, 
we can cancel fillers and add more full spots back in, which would be helpful for us to get that done sooner rather than later. And so I think you'll see some other examples on the website, Andrew, where there'll be breaks where we're giving away spots in a main break. So for example, for this break that you're looking at right now, right, it's a 16 spot break, but so, and we sold some spots outright, but we also did a revolution basketball box. And so guys like Ryan, Nathan, Brian, and Landon won spots in that. So we did the break just like normal, re-randomized everybody's names, top four won spots into this quadruple case break that we're doing right now. So same concept with the 190 boxer, except there's more of them we have to do. Usually we only have to do one or two fillers, but when we get to breaks that are of that size, we end up doing a lot more. So it's a bit of a process, but it also gives people a chance to try to win spots for less, because I know not everyone can buy a spot outright. Or even if they can, they may not be, might not be willing to buy a full spot outright. So that's why we do those other breaks that give people a chance to try to win their way in for a fraction of the price. Yeah, no worries, Andrea. It's, it's a little complicated at first, but I think once you kind of get that concept, you know, yeah, then, then it's easy, easy to understand. There's Chance Westry for Adam in the letter C. There's Drew Timmy die cut. Be for Daniel. Yes, Rex, I did want you to keep me in the loop about that Kershaw you were selling. You got 164. I wasn't expecting that, so you're happy. Good. And we got Jarace Walker. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure he was drafted. Maybe drafted pretty high, maybe top 10 pick. Jarace Walker, yes, was picked eighth. It was a Wizards pick, but was traded to the Pacers. That's right. We were talking a little Pacers basketball earlier. This goes to letter J, Nathan. And they've, I think they've carved together a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice team out there. All right, so there's... Hunter Couture to 199 for H. That'll be for Rob. Here's a speckled die cut Cam Whitmore. That'll be for Adam and the uh, and the letter C. Grizzlebees, what's up? All right, three more boxes to go in the first case. The quadruple case break, they're probably, what, 30-ish, 30, I don't know, I'll probably end up slowing down towards the end, but it's about a two hour break. So the, looking at the Pacers depth chart, I mean, it's looking pretty good. They locked up Tyrese Halliburton. They've got T.J. McConnell behind him on the depth chart according to ESPN. ESPN. They uh, they they signed Bruce Brown. He'll be playing the. Uh, they have him slotted in as a shooting. I know there's positionless basketball these days, so that's not a like for like. But then they got youngsters like Andrew Nemhard and Benedict Mathurian backing those guys up. They got Obi Toppin. Change of scenery might do him well. Get some more playing time. They got Jerace Walker, the player they just drafted. And they got Miles Turner. It's a pretty nice team. Now it comes down to the coaching and health and how well these guys all gel together. Chemistry is important. Find some good rotations. And that could be an interesting team in a 
in an Eastern Conference, that's probably kind of gettable, right? NASCAR street race in Chicago, five to go. They shortened the race too, due to weather and and uh, sunlight running out. Another chance, Westry for Adam and the letter C. Gilo, Gabe is saying personal fireworks are legal out here. He's in the Kansas City area. Sound, and he's over it. Sounds like a war zone out there. Jan's over it too. Jan's in Kentucky. And not surprisingly, it is personal fireworks have not been legal in California for many years. At least in LA County. Maybe some other parts of the state, yes. There's Kyle Filipowski to 199 for letter K. That's for Nathan. People still get their hands on fireworks here. But I, I'm glad that is not as, uh, as common. There's a Caroline uh, Descharmet. From Yukon, that's going to go to Adam and the letter C. I don't, know. I don't know much about her, but hopefully she'll be drafted to the WNBA. Top five pick, I hope. It's Tyrese Proctor die cut for the letter T. That'll be for Justin. That's what she's about right there. We got Frankie Collins, purple to 250. Right, kids in Gilo's neighborhood a little bit older now. They like louder things. Uh, well, Gilo, why don't you go out there and be like, hey, cut it out, kids. You could be that guy. And they'll be like, hey, shut up, old man Gilo. Just trying to have some fun. Quit trying to bring us down. Rex's Cubs swept by the Phillies. Now about to be swept by the Guardians. Ridiculous, he says. Is it, though? I mean, they're better teams than the Cubs, right? Yeah, Cardinals did beat the Yankees today. Yankees struggling offensively. No Aaron Judge has really been an issue. Right, Boomer Gilo. Yeah, tell him to get off your lawn, Gilo. Go, go set off your fireworks somewhere else. I mean, as a, as a human, I don't, I've been in neighborhoods during 4th of July that do allow fireworks. It doesn't bother me as much as a human. I feel bad for uh, animals. I feel bad for them. Here's Jaden Zachary, letter J, Nathan. Yeah, yeah, Rex saying, give him the back in your day bit. Exactly. Goes to Nathan. Give him like, back in my day, we were all allowed one M80 per kid. And we were allowed to set him off once, and that was it. One M80, two Roman candles, one cherry bomb, that's it. That's it. I don't know how many drivers are going to finish this race. There's Hunter Couture again. Like Old Couture? It's like my 
like some French or some French fashion brands. Hunter will go to H. Rob. No mailbox was safe. There's Jalen Hood Shafino, New Laker, 75. Going to Nathan in the letter J. It's JJ Starling to 150. <laughs> yeah, back. G Lo can be like, back in my day, I could get a hobby box for under 200. And they're like, what? I think the box of this Bowman Best University is under under two hundred dollars. No mailbox was safe. Do you think uh, John John Jackson in the chat? Do you think Big Mailbox is out there promoting fireworks so they can sell more mailboxes? Follow the money, guys. Follow the money, ladies and gentlemen. Big Mailbox probably backing Big Fireworks for the sale of more fireworks and. You know, making sure that there uh, maybe more TikTok videos go out. Influencers are uh, blowing up mailbox with fireworks. Big firework makes money. Kids TikTok, kids on TikTok think it's cool. Big mailbox making money. I say it's big mailbox. Follow the money, ladies and gentlemen. You know what they say, uh, you, know, they, you know, detectives say in murder cases, right? Who benefits from this murder? Right, especially if it's a, uh, you know, a non like gang related murder or something like that. Well, actually, even then, who benefits? Which cartel benefits from so and so being taken out? Maybe insurance money is involved. Maybe you take out a local dealer on the corner. Who benefits when a mailbox goes down? Big mailbox. Or maybe it's like uh, maybe it's like those uh, UPS stores or mailbox etc. You know when they're gonna be like, hey, as many times as I want, probably more now that you complained about it. So now you're thinking maybe it's mailbox etc. Or six out of one fifty. P Vipple. They want them to rent more mailboxes out of there. That's big mailbox in action, ladies and gentlemen. As Mark Armstrong Green to ninety nine. I, I have no idea what the Grimace milkshake thing is, but apparently, according to Rex, it's getting better. Even older people are doing it more and more. I mean, this just sounds terrifying to me. I'd rather not know. There's Donovan Klingon. Klingon? 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 It's hazy in Chilo's neighborhood because of the fireworks. Daniel has D. There's another Jalen Hood Shafino. Letter J. 22 out of 99. And there's Race Thompson to 150. Case one in the books. 35 minutes. All right. Let's see if we can keep it under 35 minutes for the next case. All right. You're surprised UPS or FedEx never came up with their own package mailboxes. They kind of did, Rex. That would be the, uh, the UPS store. You can pick up your packages there.
All right, case two. So you drink some of the Grimace shake and then you act like you die in a horror scene. Interesting. Are you reenacting a classic horror scene or are you just pretending you're dying? Home mailboxes? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Seems like an extra unsightly thing you have to put out there. Oh, people are making up their own horse. Does NASCAR have a street race every... Se I don't think so. I think this is their first... I mean, maybe they have in the past. I don't know. But I think this is their first street race on the schedule in... Ever? I don't know. Someone might know in the chat if you're a NASCAR fan. So originally people were making, Rex is all over this TikTok here. Originally people were making fun of these kids saying they're being dumb like previous challenges, but now older people are doing even doing these and they're pretty great. Well, it's official ladies and gentlemen, older people are doing it. TikTok is dead. What's the next thing? <laughs> now, now TikTok is, is now dead. All right, box one, case two, there's Caitlin Clark, neon neophytes insert. And Chris Murray, it's uh, Keegan's brother, twin brother, I think? Anyway, Chris Murray for Nathan and the letter K, blue parallel to 150. And of course, we'll do, a, uh, we'll do an autograph recap at the end. There's Chris Murray again to 99. Overtime, three laps to go in the Chicago street race. Track looks pretty dry, so hopefully there'll be no incidences from here on out. Who is who's leading? Van Gisbergen? It's his first race ever, Nick Jaspi saying in the background. In NASCAR. Where did he come from? X Xfinity? But, but not like he didn't go from truck to Xfinity to just some random series? And someone gave him a ride? And just someone's like, here, here's, here's a ride for you? Leading guys like Ryan Haley and Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson and Bush, Cindric McDowell, Logano, Gibbs. And there's Brandon Murray, letter B. That's going to go to Rob. Yeah, Rex, it's dead. TikTok's dead now that the grown-ups are using it and are enjoying it. Now kids have to find something new and, and, and more confusing for these old people. TikTok no longer hip. I mean, if Rex is all over the latest trends on TikTok, then you definitely know it's dead. Jalen Bridges to 75. Nathan, and the letter J. Hardwood Warriors insert speckle. Caitlin Clark for Adam Kupperman and the letter C. Justin Haley? Did I say Ryan Haley? Who's Ryan Haley? I mean, he's, he's leading by about a second.
In all, f oh, okay. Well, that makes that's on brand. Rex is like, in all fairness, I do, do watch this stuff. I do watch TikTok stuff on YouTube or Facebook. I wonder how much traffic this is causing. It's probably a lot. Although, I mean, they've known about it for a long time. And I think they probably had the track set up for probably, it usually takes about a week or two to get all this set up. So I think they've at least gotten used to it. Maybe it hasn't helped traffic, but at least it's not like this popped up overnight and then they're like, oh, sorry, NASCAR race. Wow. He won. Nick, what were his odds, you think? Oh, hmm. He qualified third, apparently. Kind of, kind of embarrassing for all these NASCAR guys. Right, that some foreigner comes in and, and in Chicago as well, America's second city. But I guess he, he races in the Supercars Championship. Like in, in the 97 Chevrolet Camaro. In New Zealand? He's won 79 times in that. How old is he? 34. He's from New Zealand. Wow. The Supercar Championship is a touring car category in Australia. So he's just been racing in Australia, just killing it in Australia this entire time. Bounces over to the U.S. for the street race. Unbelievable. He also does GT racing. Here's Kiki Rice from UCLA. She's going to go to Nathan like Letter K. Uh, Is he like a street car expert? A street, car street, expert. street course? Right? Ah, I see. He's racing for Trackhouse Racing. It was owned by Justin Marks and Pitbull. And Pitbull? Yeah. Well, they just made a bunch of money today. They just made a bunch of money. It was Brandon Slater to 150. Wasn't Taylor Swift in Chicago? <laughs> yeah, they delayed something. Was, was it a baseball game? Was it a Cubs game or a White Sox game or something like that? That they started a couple hours earlier just to not allevi just to alleviate potential traffic issues. There's Adam Flagler. Ryan with the letter A. I feel like with the L train... In Chicago, I feel like they have decent public transportation, so, you know, support your local transit, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Sasser die cut, Jeremy Roche orange. That's going to be for Nathan, 3 out of 25. And Marcus Sasser die cut will be for Brian and the letter M. You guys have a concert on, in Arrowhead in Kansas City? I don't even know where her Chicago concert was. Taylor Swift recently single. Should I throw my hat into the rings? Maybe I could uh, take her out for uh, a little in and out. Milkshake. Open offer, Taylor, if you're listening. On me. On me. On me. On me. I'll be a gentleman. Although she, yeah, she is in Gilo's hood first. What are, what are you gonna offer her? Maybe a Kansas KC barbecue. That that might top an In and Out burger.
Here's Cam Whitmore. Letter C, Adam Copperman with the letter C. Cam Whitmore dropped a little bit, right? I think he was supposed to be drafted a little bit higher. Fell to 20. Went to the Rockets. Not sure what that was. I've read that might have been he did not interview well, apparently. It was one, some anonymous reports from legit sources were saying that he was, quote, if I remember this correctly, quote, comatose in interviews. I don't know. Maybe he was just nervous. Who knows? But that and uh, maybe injury. I think he's maybe has some injury issues coming into the draft. May have had his draft position slip a little bit. This is Victor Wembanyama. But he's supposed to be pretty good. Some Lakers fans. So he was drafted 20th. And... Um, Jalen Hushafina was drafted 17th. Some Lakers fans were like, they think that the Lakers should have drafted Cam Whitmore instead. And here's another Brandon Miller. We saw one in the first case. Here's another one in the second case. Rob with the letter B. Tyler, what's going on? I did have a good weekend. Um, a lot of uh, swinging the golf clubs. And I, I'll be honest with you. Uh... Oh, nice Victor Wenbanyama refractor. I'll be honest with you, I'm playing through a little pain. My lower back is a little, is a little stiff. Uh, and so, if you see me wiggling a lot, <laughs> if I'm wiggling a lot, I'm trying, just trying to keep the back a little loose there. Here's a nice Victor Wenbanyama refractor. That's gonna go to Rob in the letter V, last spot mojo. Uh, and Gilo, his, his, uh, his, if I asked Taylor Swift out on a date, he would show her around a Super Bowl winning town. All right, fair enough. Rex says, if I got a chance to date Taylor Swift, you would treat her like garbage so you can get a song written about you. All right, fair enough. Although, I would hope to be the one that turns it around and has her writing positive songs about her relationships. I guess the guy who won the NASCAR race, Adam Kupperman, saying was 40 to 1 and someone bet $950 on him? So what's 950 times 40? Ooh, John's got a good name dropping story here. Fun story, you met her, you met Taylor Swift when she was 18 in a Macy's in the Nashville Mall. You were both shopping there, and there was a CMA advertising sign up. You made eye contact, then you looked at the sign, looked back at her, and you're like, wait. And then she smiled and said, yes, it's me, and they laughed and told her good luck. 38000 dollars I wish, I wish I had the money to spend. I wish I had the kind of money where I can take 950 bucks and put it down on a 40 to one driver in a NASCAR race. That's a flex right there. That's a financial flex. All right, see you, Nick. You know what? Should I should I get a 24-hour fitness uh, membership? Here's another Kiki Rice for Nathan, the letter K. Copping that song that that would help the back out. Now I need to. I've got some stretches I need to do. I should have brought my. Uh, it's nine out of fifty. My my foam roller thing, kind of loosen up the back a little bit. To 250, there's Kalel Ware, letter K. $38,000, $950 bet. 
Scared money don't make money, ladies and gentlemen. Betting on a on some New Zealanders first NASCAR race. So you, you see that Zach Eady card? That's a, that's another one of these players that are it's going back to uh, play in college, but is thought of as maybe a top pick. So there's a number of those players in here. So just kind of keep that in mind. Do your research. L.J. Cryer going autograph going to letter L. That'll be for Justin. I could either roll out the Cairo. Isn't the Cairo prior? What's everyone's thoughts? Are any chiropractors in here that I might offend? I don't know. There, there's a lot of skepticism around the chiropractor, right? I feel like there's like a there's always like a little battle between between MDs v chiropractors. You know, MDs may say this is. This is pseudoscience. While chiropractors are like it's not. Hmm. Zach Eady's nice, but struggles passing out of a double team. Well, maybe that's why he's going back to school for another year, Tyler. He can work on that. Raise his draft stock. You go to the Cairo every month, and it's great for your back issues? Well, I don't... <laughs> let's not go too far, Gabe. I don't have back issues. I have an issue with the back as a result of, uh, of uh, swinging the golf clubs a lot this weekend. Did a few uh, par three, nine holes, par th nine hole par threes. Did a did a few of those, one back to back, and I hit like a hundred balls at the range. And my body's not used to playing that much golf. So I need to work up my stamina. So, uh, so this better not be an issue. <laughs> I feel like it's just, just like hey, you worked out. And you got a, you got a little soreness, and it'll be fine in a couple days, and then hopefully you get stronger next time. I hope. Otherwise, I might have to go to the chiropractor every month. Speaking of fitness, two weeks ago you had your last trip on your knee. How's the knee? First off, Rex. And then the doctor said if anyone mentioned your high blood pressure, your blood pressure, he said it was extremely high. It has to do a lot do a lot the way I eat, and then stress. See, I mean, if you listen to Dr. Joe, Rex, not an accredited doctor, ladies and gentlemen, for entertainment purposes only, if you listen to Dr. Joe for entertainment purposes only, Rex, I could have told you that. You know? Don't wait for the doctor to tell you, tell you to eat more greens, too. Before you laugh it off as rabbit food, it'd be nice if you stayed alive a little bit longer. Dr. Joe, for entertainment purposes only. Ernest Uda Jr., letter E. But that's good, Rex. Two weeks, lost 13 pounds. That's great. Here's a hardwood warrior, Caitlin Clark, insert. And there's Jerace Walker, gold to 50, 12 out of 50. Yeah, I could use a good massage or just need to roll out my back a little bit and then with the, with the roller and then stretch out my little back stretch out prat works, workout stuff. And then just a little rest. Don't swing the sticks for a little bit. Be okay. Now, if a Cairo could guarantee that I would become a scratch golfer, John, I would absolutely be there weekly. And just take my money. 
And then I would uh, I would try out for the U.S. Open every year. here so your knee though Rex had a little a minor accident at work fell off a short ladder landed on his knee but the knees at about 98% every once in a while there's a little pain all right yeah that might that might linger dr. Joe dr. Joe uh, for, for entertainment purposes only dr. Joe says yeah, that's going to be a thing for the rest of your life. <laughs> Unless you're a spring chicken. Spring chickens will bounce back okay. But that's that's Jock, Dr. Joe Veterinarian. That's a different show. For entertainment purposes only. The massage parlor down the street. Oh, right. Just ask for the regular massage. Yeah. Right. Right. You think they call it that at, 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 at massage parlors of ill repute? They might call it that, Chilo. Dr. Joe Jaspi, MD, for entertainment purposes only, is a great doctor <laughs> for entertainment purposes only. Not a real doctor. Now there's a lot, a lot of Joe, a lot, lot of uh, there's, there's uh, we have a legal show. Tune into that, Doctor Joe, uh, Doctor Joe, no, Joe Jaspi Esquire. For entertainment purposes only. Here's Jalen Washington, letter J. That'll be for Nathan. Yeah, there could be a we could carve up a little spot in the shop for a little clinic. I should uh, I should come in with with a with with a uh, lab coat and a stethoscope around my neck, which definitely means you're a doctor. There's Adam Flagler to seventy five. Right, and for entertainment purposes only, Dr. Joe Jaspi will uh, will diagnose and uh, help you with your uh, sports injury, your sports-related injuries. And there's Leaky Black. Leaky? Leakey? It was just Leaky. That'll be for the letter L, Justin, with that one. Is Julian Phillips, green speckled in ninety nine. All right, two more boxes to go, and then two more cases to go. You remember watching Joe Brown and Judge Judy back in the day? Isn't is Judge Judy still judging things? Doesn't Steve Harvey, I feel like Gabe mentioned this the other week. I think Steve Harvey has a judge type show. Yeah, there's Chilo mentioning it again. He's like, it's actually kind of entertaining. Wait, what was the case that you watched? It was a set of, it was a set of quadruplets or two different sets of twins It was kind of hard to explain. There was four, and then there was a set of two that were identical, and the other set of two were identical, but they were all quadruplets. Does that make sense? That's what happens inside. <laughs> inside. Um, anyway, so, and it was one set of twins 
suing the another set of twins, which, which I thought was amazing. Wow, Tyler's dad was on a Judge Joe Brown show, and he won. So what was the what was the case? We got plenty of time for stories, ladies and gentlemen, for story time because I've got two more cases to go. Looks like it's gonna be hot everywhere except for except for the coast. Wait, why am I watching NBC News? This is ridiculous. I don't watch local news. Oh, that's where the NASCAR race is on. Right? How's that? How's the uh, baseball game going? Sunday Night Baseball. Mets are up six four. And we've got Jet Howard. Jet, woo, woo, woo. That's uh, Nathan, 30 out of 50. Jawan Howard's kid. Supposed to be quite good. Another Cam Whitmore, a die cut with the letter C. Never see this SNL sketch where Sherry O'Terry was playing Judge Judy. Bruce never told her that the real Judge Judy was there. No, I, d I don't remember that. And there's GG Jackson. Good game, Jackson. What do you think the G stand for? Gary Greg Jackson. Greg, Greg Garrison. Jackson. So that'll go to Adam, by the way, who has the EG combo. There's Drew Timmy for Daniel in the letter D. And last box of the second case coming up. So the quadruplets case Gio is talking about. Welcome to another episode of Joe Jaspi Esquire for entertainment purposes only. One set of the two accused the other two of stealing items, and they did find out that they stole. They won 3,500 bucks. All right, for Tyler, your dad rented a house and this guy tried to lock him out illegally with all his stuff inside up in Palace Verdes. So it took until TV court for him to access his, his rental unit? When was this? What era? Is this recently? In the quadruplets case, their dad took the stand and just ended up scolding them the entire time and Steve Harvey was just up there laughing. That's crazy. That's wild. It took until the case to get his belongings back. That's wild. And what, like, early 2000s? So, like, the cops didn't do anything? The, like, I'm, did he call the cops and be like, this guy's locked me out of my own rental property and I can't access my stuff? That's crazy.
And what was the... What was, like, the landlord's, like... Or what was the person who was renting it out? What was his or her excuse for this? For locking your dad out? Here's Brandon Miller. Green parallel. 88 out of 99. Nice. Goes to Rob in the letter B. There's a Caitlin Clark refractor for Adam in the letter C. Wow, so the cops didn't do anything and it had to go to court. It's crazy. There's a Khalif battle for the letter K. That'll go to Nathan. Oh, it was a rent dispute. I see rent increase. God, wow, that's crazy. It's Kamari Lands, 99. Right, so illegally raise it more than the ten percent, which I'm assuming wasn't clearly communicated, and your your dad rightfully was like, "No way," and that dude was like, "All right, well, I'm gonna lock you out." All right. Um, well, this video is gonna be long enough. I'm gonna pause the video really quick. While I take care, just get a new trash bag liner, and then we'll get our third case started. We're halfway through this break, halftime, folks. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Got a new trash bag liner. Here's a reminder for everybody at the halfway mark: names and letters. We're gonna do a, we'll do an autograph and other low numbered card or special player card recap at the end. So here is case uh, three of four. So we're halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks everybody for hanging with me on a holiday weekend on a Sunday night. Thanks to the people in the chat keeping me company during a long break. As I mentioned at the start, Ted Jaspi is live on Instagram right now, at Jaspi's Breaks. So while I'm working on this, you can maybe grab a personal box from Teddy and check back in later. Do I have any orders coming in? We've got only two orders here, so I don't know. We, we can, by the time this break is over and after I take a break, we should still have a couple more hours left in the show, so you can definitely do some other stuff if you'd like. Or if you don't want to do anything else tonight, let's look ahead to this week. You can pre-order finest baseball that drops on the 7th you can pre-order that today right now we just loaded it up probably a couple hours ago so chances are your team is still uh, should still be there All right, what other, uh, let's go to hoopsrumors.com. Any, any news here? I guess this is slightly new news. I think, for me anyway. The Nets to sign Lonnie Walker the fourth to a one-year deal. We saw, I think most of us should have seen Eric Gordon signing the two-year deal with a son. That's a good deal. Miles Bridges signed the qualifying offer. These are slightly older bits of news. Rockets acquire Patty Mills, flip him to the Thunder. Jazz and Jordan Clarkson finalizing renegotiation extension. Yeah, and the Sabonis contract we saw. Blah, 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 blah. Colby Jones signing with the Kings. Warriors and Corey Joseph agree to a one year deal. That's a pretty good deal. But I guess the big news. 
is what's going to happen with Damian Lillard. And I think James Harden is still out there, right? All right. Next box. We got Chris Murray. Nice. Nathan with the letter K. Keegan's brother. Chris Murray, of course, went to... Went to the Trailblazers. 36 out of 50. There's MJ Rice. Die cut. Speckle. Rex is asking me if I ever play that funky music. Sometimes. Another Caitlin Clark for Adam and the letter C. I enjoy the funk. The soul, the rhythm and blues. There's Juan Harris to letter D. Daniel. Well, 60s era Motown. You know, maybe some blues, some jazz. I'm into. Into uh, Stax Records, Chess Records, Motown. There's flashing lights, Julian Phillips, 21 out of 50. All right, next box. So Tyler's thinking he will get Dame and Lillard and get Dame. Tobias Harris going to the Blazers and, and Harden to the Clippers. Yeah, I've heard Harden to the Clippers a lot. I feel like that does kind of match up. All right, and maybe maybe the Sixers are that third team involved in that. Yeah, and Tyler Hero. Yeah, that makes the the money works there. I think Tyler Hero to the Blazers. What are the Sixers going to do? I think they're going to trade James Harden, right? Where are they, how are they going to retool that team to, to uh, get to where they want to be, which is championship, which is a title, right? How many prime years does, uh, does Joel Embiid have? I mean, currently, I mean, they got to find a James Harden replacement. Patrick Beverly's still on there, but Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, Tyler's thinking he might get traded. PJ Tucker still there. So really, just Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, PJ Tucker. They got to. I mean, they'll have some work to do to reconstruct that roster. Here's Hunter Couture, Rob with the letter H. There's Khalif Battle to 199. Take back some Clippers, but are, I mean, Clippers obviously aren't going to trade Kawhi or 
or Paul George, so I mean, who do you take back from the Clippers? Avica Zubac? Maybe? I mean, that, that's not suddenly turning into a championship. There's Jared McCain, Nathan in the letter J. Uh, it'll be interesting. Especially when three teams are involved. It's kind of, for me, anyway, it's hard to kind of wrap my head around all the different permutations of what a, you know, a deal could entail. There's Derek Lively. Ooh, nice speckle, Victor Wenbanyama. This is the kind of stuff we want to see, Rob. Rob with last spot mojo. 189 out of 299. Nice. Actually, not a speckle because the speckles are not numbered. That's a mini diamond. So here is Mark Armstrong, that's speckle, right? So it's a little more circles, right? You should be able to, right? It's a little more circle-y, and the mini diamonds are a little more jagged. And it's also numbered, so that's how you know. Speckles, not numbered. Yeah, Gilo saying cha ching. What what is that? Go, what is that going for, on the secondary market? Let's see. Going back to our. Damian Lillard conversation. If I go back to Portland Trailblazers depth chart, uh, yeah, they don't have Dame. But they get, and they've got, I mean, they've already got Shaden Sharp from last year who is doing well. Right? They got Scoot Henderson. They re-signed Jeremy Grant to a big deal. All right, and if they uh, if they can get like a Tyler Hero back, right? Is like Tyler Size was saying, maybe maybe a Tobias Harris type player could go back to the Blazers. I mean, that's a pretty solid team. That'd be fun to watch. Uh, Saxento is saying one on auction bids at $255, six days left. There you go, Rob. Congrats. And what does everyone think that ends at? There's another Brandon Miller for Rob in the letter B. Got Jarese Walker die cut for letter J. Jared McCain to 250 for letter J. Wow, Rex found out yesterday there was a firework barge on a lake about 15 miles away. They caught fire and exploded. Wow. That must have been pretty crazy. And there's Trey Alexander. Gold for the letter T, that'll be for Justin. 31 out of 50. Here's another one, Binyama, Refractor. And an Ashlyn Watkins. Out of 100, Magenta Lava going to Ryan and the letter A.
So Jan's saying those mini diamonds, they fall about one every out of every 27 packs. Now there is, there is a chance I may have slid by some mini diamonds that I thought were speckles, but all card ships. So as long as, uh, as long as you see it, you're going to get it. Wait, how did a, uh... yeah, and everyone got off the barge. Okay. How did that happen? You would think that, uh, you know, it's on a, it sounds like an inside job, Rex. You would think that fire discipline would be, they'd be like, yeah, no one's bringing lighters on board this thing. How could a fire just start? Electrical wiring issue maybe? I'd probably double check that before I took out all that. And the refractor, with a Wemby refractor is just $200 just on its own. We pulled a couple of those already in this quad case break. We still have, well, another one, two, three, four, five box to go here, another case to go. Uh, maybe it's called pink. For Ashlyn Watkins. Too many parallels, Jan. I, my, my, my brain does not have enough hard drive space to keep track of all that. That's right, Eric Houston. The last thing you want to do is blow up a fireworks barge. How did that fire even get started? What's happening there? We got a Jaden Zachary, Refractor Auto for Nathan in the letter J. Got a Devin Carter to 99 and a Mikey Williams to 150. Mikey Williams goes to Brian and the letter M. Devin for Daniel and the letter D. And Jalen Bridges for Nathan, the letter J. No more top loads. <laughs> That's right, Gila. It was not Billy Joel. Not responsible. Gilo's here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Oscar die cut for letter O. This to 75. Oh, Jan saying there are apparently double or triple auto, dual or triple auto possibilities. Well, if not here, we still have one more case to go, so we got a good chance here. Sunday Night Baseball on in the background. Mets leading the Giants in New York, 6-4, bottom of the eighth. And just rocketed one past the Giants' third baseman, Tommy Pham. You know what? I haven't looked at all the baseball scores today. Every game's a final here. Uh, in extra innings, the Guardians beat the Cubs 8-6 in Wrigley Field. Uh, Mariners... 
beat the Rays seven to six on a uh, on a hit by pitch. White Sox beat the A's eight to seven. Uh, Jake Berger, we think we saw a hit of his in a different break earlier today. He said he was having a nice season. He he hit a 442 foot home run. Angels beat the Diamondbacks five two. Otani hits a 454 foot home run. He's got 31 now. How many does he hit, ladies and gentlemen? Tigers crushed the Rockies 14 to 9. They're multiple grand slams. Astros beat the Rangers 5 3. We'll look at the rest of the baseball scores later. And then Pete Alonso launches one into, uh, into the seats. Caitlin Clark, and Ashlyn Watkins. On eBay, someone selling a Victor 13 out of 99 is selling at 3,500? Or are they asking 3,500? A small but crucial difference. Ryan with the letter A, and more Caitlin Clarks for Adam in the letter C. It's Caleb Love. Hardwood Warriors die cut. Hunter purple at a 250. That's what they're asking for. Okay. So it's a buy it now at 30. Still. Even if it sells for a little bit under that. Uh, another uh, little tip, ladies and gentlemen. Here, wow, here's Victor Wenbanyama autograph green. There it is, Rob. Woo. Right, we even got Teddy checking in on this. 18 out of 99. There's Rob. Congrats, man. That's with the spot he got straight up, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Do I have a card stand here? I don't, but leave there. I gotta snap a picture of that a little bit later. Here's a base, Wimbanyama. Pink lava to 100, that's Malik Renault. You're welcome, Rob. Thanks for getting in. And we still have three boxes and another case to go. John's saying that that's, that's about a $5,000 card. I mean, what if he just balls out during summer league? We've seen that happen before. That was gonna, that's what I was gonna mention. Before I pull that Wemby, is that we've seen this in previous seasons. There'll be someone who gets hot in summer league, and this really goes for everybody that we're pulling here. You know, even some of the lesser known autos that we're pulling. But we've seen someone get hot in summer league and create a lot of hype. And that definitely helps the value. Not just when, not just the top tier guys, but even lesser known players. You know, people get bullish about those players. Like, hey, this guy balled out in summer league. Maybe, maybe he's gonna be make some noise in the regular season. So that's a possibility as well. I mean, Zion, well, Zion was already hyped going into it, right? But I want to say, I'm trying to think of some recent examples. I'm kind of blanking on that, but there has been. There was a Victor Refractor in the last box. Oh, I'm already in too deep here. 
I don't think I did. Like, I'm specifically looking out for his name. So... But all cards ship. You'll get you'll you'll get it. Let's see in here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Found him. There you go. There's the refractor. There's the base. Got him. Rob, what are you? What are your plans for the auto? I think the, all the refractors, maybe even the base, might be worth worth getting graded. But the auto probably too, right? The green auto, get that graded. Got a Caroline Descharm, Descharm A maybe. Go to Adam in the letter C. Got Sky Clark die cut, and we got a extra autograph. Nick Smith Jr. Flashing lights insert auto for Justin in the letter N, the L N combo. 40 out of 90. Maybe that's a good idea. Sac Cento is saying maybe sell the refractors while they're still selling hot. Also, fair warning. I have a feeling. Listen, all card ships. So you're, if you see it, you're going to get it. I'll bet I've mistaken speckles for mini or passed by mini diamonds thinking they were speckles, but they'll ship. Nathan with the letter J, our sorting and shipping team will find those. Along with any other Wenbanyamas that I may have passed by. There may have, not might be others. There's Kendrick Davis. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, maybe, maybe sell these early. Auto you grade, maybe? Kendrick Davis, letter K. Although people are waiting for the pro uniform stuff, too. So that might be another thing, but... Either way. And there's Brandon Murray, Aqua, Lava to 199. Two boxes to go and then one more case to go. Yeah, I was, and I was also, yeah, you're gonna sell most of it off quickly, yeah. I was also gonna say, Rob has, uh, Rob has been around the block. He's been, he's been with Jaspies for a long time and he's been around the hobby block, so I think he'll, he'll know what to do. Yeah, maybe sell off the college stuff early and then wait for, and then save up try to buy the Spurs in a in a prism basketball pick your team break or something like that. 
That might not be a bad strategy. Jan was saying, I read that the LSU coach doesn't like NIL because he thinks it hurts Concord so much. Him and others from the SEC went to D.C. to talk to Congress about it, which I think would hurt the SEC. Well, what are they going to, like, I mean, do they have a legal argument? Maybe they do. I don't know. Welcome to another episode of Joe Jaspi Esquire, do, for entertainment purposes only. Do they have a a legal issue? I mean, case to it? Because the NCAA lost the case. And then and then they made the decision to uh, made the decision to uh, what you call it to uh, enact whatever system they have now which I think they've enacted somewhat poorly. That's another Victor Wembanyama. You know, that I have to admit, Rob, that I have to tell you, the team is not going to be, the full team will not be at the National this year. We're passing on breaking at the National. There's Khalif Battle. Yes, CK, I can. Not right now, though. I'm in the middle of something, but when I'm done, I will. Brandon Miller. Oh, Gila is saying, what, the Spurs would be $5,000 spot in prison basketball? I'm not, I mean, maybe. But this is a pretty decent draft class, right? With Brandon Miller, with Scoot Henderson, right? So that might, you know, obviously the Spurs are going to be the most expensive team, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be too top heavy. I at least I hope not. Yeah, Nick Jaspi might be there. There's Jacob Toppin for Nathan, the letter J. Yeah, it was just, it just got to be a little much taking the full team and taking all of our computer gear and all of our stuff and, you know, set up camp for, a, for an entire week and... PJ Hall at 250. This, this is not this is not permanent. But I think for this year we're just taking a break for it this year. There's Caitlin Clark. Refractor. Last box of the third case, and then the fourth and final will be coming up. Thanks for hanging with me. Yeah, flawless will def. I mean, flawless basketball with Wen Banyama, especially if he has a nice. This flawless generate comes out towards the end of the uh, basketball season. Yeah, it gets to be a logistical nightmare. And then the other thing is, even though we do sort, uh, even though we sort on site, we ship some stuff on site, but we don't have the full shipping capabilities when we're there. So then everyone's waiting for their hits. It takes like an extra week for people to get their stuff. And, you know, that's one of the weeks where we get the highest amount of customer service issues where people are like, hey, where's my stuff? This broke a week ago. And then it's always like, remember, we were at the National for a week and we weren't, you know, we didn't have the full shipping out capabilities that week. So we have to send it back home and then we're going to re-sort it out there and put them into the bot and then ship it up, blah, blah, blah. And everyone's. With a lot of that too. I didn't stretch enough. My my, my hands are stretched enough. Just 
Hands are feeling great. Just a, just a little bit slower though. You know, you, you, you've been doing this, you do this for for nine years or so. and It's not the years, it's the mileage. Here's Jalen Washington. Right, Jan, I don't need that headache. And we usually can't take our full complement of product out there as well. 99. It's like a grandpa watching. You don't, no one's, no, you don't have to watch this. No one's forcing you to watch, Carl. This will be done in about, if you look at the schedule, you'll see when, keep an eye on the schedule, Carl. You know when this is going to end. You can check back in right there. No, we're almost done, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's Trey Alexander. Letter T. That's true, yeah. Adjust your fantasy breaker lineups. I do have a sore, uh, sore lower back from all the all the golf over the weekend so I should have popped a couple uh, aspirin before I started this break there's Vincent going to V Rob and Amari Bailey die cut going to letter A Ryan Use this as a weight to sort of twist, stretch out my back a little bit. Right, the 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 hands are fine. I'm not having any issues with the hands. The uh, the the rotation though, from going from here to putting cards in the monster boxes, uh, is a little stiff. All right, next box, first box of the final case. So about, if you're, if you're keeping count, about another 30 or so minutes left. <laughs> do I need to tell Nick never to do these again? Um, the people here in the break are enjoying it, Carl, just because it's not a break you like. We got we got to serve everybody, Carl. The people that like this sort of stuff have to uh, have to be a part of this. Got to offer a little bit of everything for everybody. Well, the, the players you're chasing in this, obviously Victor Wembanyama, but Brandon Miller, second overall pick out of Alabama, going to Charlotte, Scoot Henderson for the Trailblazers, the Thompson Twins, Anthony Black, Jerace Walker, Jet Howard, Derek Lively, Jalen hood Shafino, Cam Whitmore, Chris Murray. There are some names out there. And you never know, it doesn't... All it takes is one of these guys to have a hot start to the season. We've seen a lot of, over the years, we've seen a lot of people who maybe weren't draft darlings, right? Draft hype darlings who turned into favorites once the season got underway. There's Chris Murray, letter K for Nathan. We saw that with, uh, I think, 
I'm trying to think. There's, I'm sure there's more recent examples, but I'm. We saw that with John ja Morant, his rookie year. Right, everybody was chasing. Um, he was the same year with Luca, right? So there's always a player every year, a player or two every year. Oh, that Zion year, sorry. Um, where they weren't as hyped. I mean, even John ja Morant at his selection, I feel like people weren't really. He had some of that tournament hype, but I don't know if people were really uh, chasing him, especially with Zion kind of overshadowing everybody. But he turned out to be a great, uh, a great secondary chase that particular year. Here's Chris Livingston. That's going to go to Adam in the letter C. Chase Livingston, I presume. And there's Victor Wenbanyama Refractor, another one for Rob. In basketball in general, I think is uh, is great for collectors because I've even seen like sort of second tier rookies, you know, maybe not sort of the elite tier level rookies who actually sell better than some of their baseball or football counterparts, especially with such a global audience for these uh, for these players. So there's always that too. Like it always surprised me. Someone, I think someone said to me recently, we pulled a, uh, we pulled that Trailblazer Shade and Sharp. We pulled an RPA of his. It was a decent number too, but, but I don't know. I don't know how much love Shade and Sharp is getting, at least from a, from just a national sports perspective, right? But this person was like, yeah, I sold it for like over two thousand thousand two thousand dollars or something like that and I was like what really is he getting that much love on the secondary market but he is there's always always that happening here in basketball that's what makes it so interesting football checklists are just giant in football you know and then and then they're mixing in lineman autographs and defensive player autographs when everybody just wants quarterbacks and some running backs and some wide receivers right Baseball, you have to wait a while. The basketball. Doesn't have to all, I mean, it is, it is about the top guys. Everyone, let's be real, everyone wants Wen Binyama, but there's value down the, down the list. All right, another box. Good luck. Chilo kind of wants kicker autographs. Who's who's the kicker that you want you want to chase? Here's Demar Langford. Under D. Adam looking for Caitlin Clark's, not that other Iowa guy we pulled a little bit earlier. Still have a lot of boxes to go, even though this is the last case. We feel like we got to be due, right? There's Hunter, Aqua, Lava to one ninety nine, letter H. It's uh, MJ Rice, die cut for the letter M for Brian. And wow. Another Victor Wenbanyama autograph. Green parallel. So the first one we got was 18 out of 99. Now we got 58 out of 99, different cases. Different cases, two green Wenbanyama autographs. That's Hunter Dickinson to 250. Right, sorry, I, I was like, I, I meant Caitlin Clark. 
Not another Victor. I don't know. She could still be in here somewhere. What a break, Rob. Obviously, Rob, as you know, this is more for everybody else, but Rob knows this already. Hit the support button if you want to request some insurance on your hits. We'll give you, we'll quote you a price. You're welcome, Rob. Um, and or if you want a if you want expedited uh, an expedited shipping service or both. Also, uh, Weather is nice in Los Angeles. I was watching the uh, the NASCAR race in Chicago, and it looked a little looked a little rain. Although it's been a little overcast near the ocean here, so maybe it's not that much better. All right, onwards. Next box. Good luck, everybody. We got Jacob Toppin, blue, for Nathan. Letter J. 137 out of 150. Got a Caleb Love die cut. Kendrick Davis to 99 for Nathan and the letter K. Mar Langford, Zach Eady, Kalen Clark Bass, and and for the letter C, Caroline Descharmes. Maybe a little bit of the sticker getting stuck to the back of that card, Adam. Who has the letter C? Not the C he was C autograph that he was looking for. There's another Caitlin Clark base. And we've got a Hardwood Warriors Mikey Williams Lava 33 out of 50 for Brian in the letter M. Oh, we have three Carolina. Oh, well, she, she better be good. Is she good? She's on UConn.
This race in Chicago, what a mess. But it looks really, looked really fun for TV. I don't know how fun it was for the drivers. And we've got a Frankie Collins autograph. Letter F, Vipple, with the PF combo letters. We've got a Judah Mintz die cut. And a Kiki Rice to 75, gold lava. For Nathan, the letter K. Caitlin Clark, Speckle. Hoping for an autograph for Adam. Base Victor, and we've got a Sky Clark. Reach for the sky. Rob with the letter S. There's a snake in my boot. 14 out of 50. And our Terry Morris. Grady Dick is a mini diamond. That'll go to G, that'll be for Adam. All right, we are halfway through the final, the fourth and final case. Almost there. We're at the one hour, 58, 37 second mark. I think Jason's start to finish time was two hours and six minutes, I wanna say, something like that. I think that video is already uploaded on Friday. I don't think I'm gonna beat that. Right, John? Pretty crazy. You know, this is why we play the game. For opportunities like that. There's Armando Baycott for Ryan and the letter A. Livingston, I presume. Mikey Williams at 299. Yeah, I have a feeling I definitely missed a lot of these mini diamonds earlier, but all card ship. You'll get these. And there is a Duran Holmes for Daniel and D. Draw 
Jordan Walsh, 99. For Nathan and the letter J, another Caitlin Clark base. Another box, three to go. And we got a Zach Eady. Letter Z. That's going to go to Landon. Last spot mojo. On the board, Landon. It's possibly a, a top pick in uh, next year's draft. One to hold on to. Got Drew Timmy die cut. Got a Kiki Rice gold to 50 for Nathan, the letter K. And we got a Derek Lively flashing light autograph. Daniel with the letter D. Derek Lively went 12th overall. Um, picked by OKC, but traded to Dallas. 25 out of 25. Sky Clark die cut. Kalen Clark, we got a Keyshawn Bartholomew, Mini Diamond, Armando Baycott for letter A, for Ryan, Keyshawn for K, that's for Nathan, and Caitlin C for Adam. All right, the penultimate box. I don't know if I finished baseball scores from earlier. We left off with Astros Rangers. I think so. Astros beat the Rangers 5-3. Cardinals beat the Yankees 5-1. The Royals beat my Dodgers 9-1. Gonsolin didn't have a good start, and the bullpen just imploded. Nicky Lopez drives in four, by the way. Red to beat the Padres four to three. Steer and Stevenson home runs. Power Reds to victory. Spencer Steer on my fantasy baseball team. It's been helping out. Red Sox beat the Blue Jays five to four. Verdugo playing hero again for the Red Sox with go-ahead home run in the ninth. I don't know what his numbers have been like, but he's got that he's got that clutch factor in him. Stone Garrett 
hit a grand slam to put the uh, Nationals ahead. They beat the Phillies 5-4. to four. Ozzie Albies put the Braves back in front with a two-run home run. Braves beat the Fish 6-3. to three. Orioles beat the Twins 2-1. to one. Those are your baseball scores for the day. Jordan Walsh, Nathan with the letter J. Got a Anthony Black die cut. Cam Whitmore to 299. Jackson Kohler to 150. Jackson will go to Nathan in the letter J. Cam Whitmore going to Adam in the letter C. And Anthony Black going to Ryan in the letter A. Victor Wenbanyama. Base. All of those will add up. That's going to go to Rob in the letter V. And there's Jalen Bridges. Letter J for Nathan. Got a green trace, Jackson Davis, for Justin in the letter T. That will be 23 out of 99. And at long last, final box coming up. Final two autos coming up. Anything else going on in the sports world today? People, uh, people, and NBA are signing with different teams. Hockey players in sort of a free agent kind of frenzy window. All stars being announced for baseball. Kershaw picked for his 10 All-Star game. It's in Seattle. Let's see. Look at the the All-Star game uniforms look kind of cool. Uh, the Braves sending eight players to the MLB All-Star game, the most of any team since the 2012 Rangers. And the most of any NL team since the 2008 Cubs. It's a Caitlin Clark refractor for Adam. And a Trey White autograph for Justin. Um, Carl. Rob got two Victor Wenbanyama autographs, green parallels. Which I, I'm going to do a recap right after this box, so you can see those two in a bit and everything else. Jansen, do you think Padres will trade off Juan Soto since they're not winning? Yeah, that's. I mean, I, I think they're going to take it right to the uh, the trade deadline. You would think, but. Yeah, if things aren't looking good for the Padres, they, they may as well. There's Masterpiece's autograph, Drew Timmick. Because what's his... Does he have one more year? He has 2023 and then 2024?
72 out of 99, Drew Timmy. And the last little bits here, we got a Derek Lively, Masterpieces. Is there any other parallels here? Chance Westry, Brandon Murray. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I forget, and before I do the recap, oof, let's give away that, uh, that wax party spot. Big boatload of hits right there. All right. So one wax party spot giveaway. Pretty good odds here too because it's only 16 spots. All right. So new dice, new list. Name on top after one and a six, seven times gets a wax party invite. Good luck. One, two, three, four five, six, and once more, seventh and final time. After seven, Nathan, congrats to you. You got a wax party invite. Check out all the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com and check the, uh, you can click the wax party uh, link or the product page on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com and that'll send you to the link to see the entire list of wax party invitees. And um, if you know you won a spot and your name isn't on there, definitely let me know. And definitely let me know what the break and break number is so we can double check that and get your name on there. All right, got some Brandon Miller autographs, Chet Howard, some Caitlin Clark parallels, Victor Wembanyama base, some refractors as well, some nice color. There's more Brandon Miller, Cam Whitmore's. Chris Murray's, Kalen Clark's, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty solid break, I think. Jacob Toppin. Some insert autographs are pretty cool. Some more Victors. We got some uh, mini diamonds, Victor Wenbanyama. Some Chris Murray, gold, a lot of nice stuff here. And of course, the two Victor Wenbanyama green autos. One was 18 out of 99, the other 58 out of 99. Pretty nice, uh, some nice stuff for Rob in the letter V. That was also Last Spot Mojo. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.